Speaking of people banding together, let's get into this next Missouri story. A group of black Missouri football players announced Saturday that they would not play or participate in football activities until University President Tim Wolf resigned. The players, part of a group called Missouri's Legion of Black Collegians, were angered over Wolf's handling of recent events of racism on campus. And we just got word that the University President Wolf has resigned, saying he hopes this move will help people heal. No word from the players at this point. Stephen A., what's your reaction? I don't want to use the word happy because it's a shame that it had to come to this. Uh, an individual by the name of uh, Mr. Wolf, Tom Wolf, the president of the university, lost his job. Uh, that's certainly not a, a cause for celebration. It's sad that it had to come to this, but it was necessary. He had to go. And he had to go, ladies and gentlemen, because as the president of a university, of an institution for higher learning, there were problems that obviously existed at this university. And you exercised the dereliction of duty because you weren't on top of these issues. And when it was brought to your attention, you appeared to be so lackadaisical about it in the minds of those who had brought it to your attention that an individual by the name of Jonathan Butler decided that he would protest by refusing to eat until you were dismissed or you exited your post. That a university football team with at least 32 African Americans decided with the support of their coaches to protest and join this group concerned student 1950. They joined in and they said we stand together. Now you got to consider that because the Missouri football program brought in over 35 million dollars to the university last year. For them to take this kind of stance, that's why the president ultimately had to resign today. Because had it not been something like that, chances are he would have attributed it to a systemic issue that we obviously are concerned about, pay attention to, and we need to address. Let's look at his statement from just last week. He issued a, um, a statement here, Skip, and he said, this is last week, according to Tom Wolf president. Racism does exist at our university and it is unacceptable. It is a long-standing systemic problem which daily affects our families of students, faculty, and staff. I am sorry this is the case. I truly want all members of our university community to feel included, valued, and safe. It said nothing about what you're going to do about it. It said nothing about how this is a concern that is a priority in my mind. You essentially gave lip service, which validated why Jonathan Butler felt the need to go on a hunger strike. And in the end, the goal of getting this accomplished in terms of him being ousted as the president or him choosing to resign is important in this respect. At the end of the day, you can't legislate what's in people's heart. People are going to feel what they feel. But at the end of the day, we can legislate to some degree how you act and how you perform, particularly when you are in a position of leadership as it pertains especially to young minds. And the fact that it came to this is not a cause for celebration. It's a cause of sadness because this is an institution of higher learning. And the fact that a university president has to resign and we're talking about racism when it comes to students. Mm -hmm. To me, is a sad commentary. It is. It. It, it just. It's sad. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Because okay. if I if I go any further than that, I might go off. Love what you just said. Appreciate what you just said. And I want to point out once again, the power of athletes, college or pro, standing up, banding together, and bringing national attention to what. For, for months actually had been a local issue around Columbia, Missouri. This had been going on for months. And it was mind blowing to me how callous this president had been, how insensitive, how dismissive he had been at, at all that had been brought to him. Do you realize this is happening and this is happening? Eh. And, and he issued just last week another sort of callous, insensitive statement to me. Oh, that's, uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, it's okay. We'll figure this one out. 
At least they have now instituted diversity training for this next January for new students. And all new students have to undergo diversity training. This is a, a school of 35,000 students with 8% or so African American. Yes. Also, comprehensive racial awareness and inclusion curriculum will be added at Missouri. Yeah. So this works. works. Th this can enlighten people. A lot of people just don't know enough. A lot of young white people come in and they just don't know. This can help educate, open minds, make aware. And it all started and ended because the football team took a stand. You, you can say, well, gee, is it really their... Yes, it is. It's okay to take a stand. Again, we can get on slippery slopes sometimes. You have to understand the issue. But you thought this was a very serious issue because all those black students, members of this what's it called 1950 yes. because that was the first that's year right. that they had a black student that's right at, at concerned student 1950 concerned. okay every member of that group felt that they were they were in peril man mm -hmm. they, they needed something done here and again you can't stamp out racism right. we know that but you can educate and enlighten well, enough that you begin to open minds and and come to some meeting of those minds let me ruffle a few feathers here don't worry chuck don't get nervous it's our <laughs> editor Mm -hmm. Let me be very, very clear. <clears throat> in this particular situation, it was more than appropriate. It was the right action to take. And to white Americans out there, accept the reality that to some level, racism still exists. Sure. It's just inescapable. It's a reality. Definitely. But to exists. black America, let me make this statement. Everyone who's white is not racist. And it's important to point that out because with this particular incident, it was warranted. But that doesn't mean we turn around and then the second somebody disagrees with us of a different hue, pigmentation, culture, etc. The second somebody might be oblivious or ignorant mm. to what we are, what we believe, what we feel, etc. Doesn't make them racist, just like folks have an obligation to get whatever race, racist tendencies may be inside their bones, we have an obligation to appreciate that there are a lot of people in this God-fearing country that we live in who are not racist. And so don't be so quick to jump. That wasn't the case here. This was valid. But there are some folks out there that will use this as an excuse to jump on every issue and attach racism to every issue when it may not be that. It may be that somebody just doesn't like you. Hmm. Let's be clear about that and understand the importance of deciphering the difference because when it comes to legislating what's in somebody's heart, more often than not, you can't tell. Hmm. So just learn, you know, again, in this incident, mm -hmm. it's apropos what happened. I support it 1,000%. But don't think that this incident is every incident. Well said. Yes, and it's a shame that the football players had to do this still in 2015. That but they it needs were right to be done, to do but it. they were right. They stuck together, and it was impactful. And I give Gary Pinkle credit too to stand behind them, as well. And speaking of, of wonderful people who stand together, here are servicemen and women. When we come back, we put a bow on our Veterans Day special here at Westover Air Reserve Base. Brady versus Rogers. Who's the best in the NFL? We'll get into that next. Stay here.